Hi there, welcome back. So, in the previous video we did the serialization of two nodes. If I run the test, everything is good. Um, let me set this thing. Okay. So that's good, uh, but um, we talk a little bit about the order of this stuff and how to manage con uh, dependencies, and we're not doing that yet. So we are going to do that in this video. So yes, the first thing would be show you the issue, right? I described it at the end of the last video. Uh, so let me create a new node in the graph. We're going to modify this function a little bit. So this should be node 3. This should be the name node 3. This value 2, it's OK. And this should be Note 2. So let me uh, debug this stuff. So debug. And so we, we're now creating three nodes, right? Node 1, Node 2, Node 3. Serialize that, create the graph, and we can test that Node 3 is also connected. Um, yeah, and this value could be, I don't know, anything to make it different. So if I run this, we fail the test. And you can see here, it's saying non type object has no attribute sources. And, and it, it's kind of weird because you can see here that there is a reference. So node 3 is referencing node 2. And node 2 is referencing node 1. So the problem is we are not creating these nodes in this order, like node 1, node 2, node 3. And that makes sense because it's a dictionary, so the order is not it's not guarantee. Uh, so we have to fix that, right? And make sure that we are creating stuff according to the reference count. So, sounds fancy, but it, it's really simple. Yeah. So we're going to do that now. Uh, and we can do that in we have two shoes, right? We, we want to set this order uh, on saving, on serializing, or when we load the data, when we create a new graph from data. You can do it both ways. I prefer to do it uh, from the data, doing the, the counting because that way I can mess a little bit with the data itself. Uh, if, let's say that data gets saved as a text file, so I, I have more room to hack around stuff without having to worry about the reference counting. So that's why I'm going to do that from the data. So the first thing we need to do is, uh, yeah. Uh, let's import a counter. So Python has a counter here in the collections. And uh, let's create a function. I uh, get, I don't know, uh, counter ref, ref counter from data. <laughs> I'm not very good naming stuff, but yes, you, you get the idea. Uh, so we have this function. So the idea is this function so should return us a counter, which is like a dictionary saying how many times uh, we, we pass, how many uh, account of how many times we refer to that object. And we're going to use that name to sort the, the nodes on creation. So, well, it might sound complicated, but it's, it's not. So let's just do it. Uh, so we need to create a counter, right? So count would be equals to counter. And then we need to iterate through the data. So I know that I did that here somewhere. So I'm going to co copy all this stuff. Yes, paste that there. So. Should validate this? I don't know. Uh, so yes, 
Okay, I will delete the validation for now. I'm not creating a graph. I'm just going through the data. So, node class. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. So, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to get the port, I don't need that, cool, cool, so, I have the sources, the source name, so what I want to do is, say, get the node name, right, of the source, so let's say, uh, source owner would be equal to uh, source name dot split uh, split that but the point and we get the first one right because the, the, the name is node dot port so we can do this to get the owner and with that owner which is the node itself uh, so this is the input port, so I want count, we pass the source owner and I want that to be created uh, before the current node because I need it in the input, so I'm going to remove one, subtract one and then I need to do the same with the outputs so this would be output ports same stuff exactly the same but I need to add one right I need to create the output port whatever is connected to the output after this node so once I have that I have a counter and I can do just just for now uh, and we can take a look at the counter uh, so this counter will have uh, negative numbers because we are removing stuff. So zero minus one is minus one. So let's say normalize. Well, this should be like that. Uh, so if uh, count dot values, it's like a dictionary. If there's any, well, if there's any value, uh, we. We want to add uh, the absolute value of the minimum of count dot values, and then we do for k in count dot keys, and we basically say count key uh, plus equal to add. And we return the counter. So that's basically our reference counting. Uh, so in the reference counting, we need the output port. I'm not sure we are serializing that. So let's uh, put no in the node. Where's the node? Here. Uh, where's serialized? Here. So we are not serializing the output port. So I'm just going to change this. Um, this is and this is the same output port cool so if I run the test it still fail yes because we are not using the counting the counter at all This is count. Cool. So we are not using it. Uh, so let's use it here. So order nodes will be equal to uh, data nodes dot keys, which is the names. 
uh, and I want to sort that list using as a key a lambda function x and this will be count get me x and then I need the count so count will be equal to get and I pass the data so that give us uh, the order nodes and here instead of doing that for node name in order nodes and then I just do node data is equal to data nodes um, and we get node name so that should be the same let me run the test and uh, no, it's good so let me show you what's going on so this is the counter and it says now that node 1 is referenced 0 times node 2 is referenced 1 time node 3 is referenced 2 times so it will create node 1 first node 2 and node 3 so everything is created in order and everything works uh, so let me create an orphan node just to be sure uh, like this one and run this again and the counter now says uh, do I have that yes that should be fine yes so the counter done even uh, reference that because well if it's zero not necessarily say the name uh, but yes it's it's done in order uh, so that's passing uh, so let me remove this this message here the debug And there you go. We have our serialization done, finally. Uh, so that's pretty much it. So now, well, let me, yeah. So that's it. In the next video, I think we're going to go through package, how to package this. Uh, and that will be, it. we're really close to have like a decent first version. So see you soon. Bye-bye.